My kids want to establish a trust. They think that I watch too much television and that it's affecting the family fortune. What are they thinking? This all came up when I decided that I had to have a jaw horse. I saw it advertised on TV. It said I could put up drywall on this ceiling by myself if I had that jaw horse. I was all ready to get it. Then one of my kids said, No, you can't have the jaw horse. You're out of control. What the hell is he talking about? Out of control. Just about Bentley. Come here. Come here. Bentley. Let's, let's, let's cut your paws. Okay? Ha ha ha. Oh, damn dog ran away. Uh, oh, my, my smuggly. <laughs> Dropping down. I look rather monistic with this, don't I? I thought it was very dashing. This is my petty pause. It doesn't work. I mind well. I mind well. Take a chainsaw to Bentley's paw. Because the minute I turned that on, the dog split. You ever try to chase 110 pounds of dog around the house with a petty pause? I've tried everything. I turn it on, let it run. He runs. I can't even get close to him with it. I thought I would talk a little bit. People have asked me about my health. They were concerned. Well, I went to the doctor yesterday, and he said, I have good news for you. I said, what is that good news? He said, those numbers in your blood haven't changed. That's good. I said, that's great then let's don't do anything until they do change. So they're going to do a test every few months to see if they change, and then I'll deal with that. The prostate thing, that prostate cancer, the one I wasn't really concerned about, <laughs> they're not concerned either because they're going to do another test. Yet another test, but I'm staying warm. By the way, these do work. I think they look a little silly. But as a former Franciscan, I mean, I'm comfortable with this look. It's more me, it's more Yoda-like, and it keeps me warm. Let me take a moment to clean this screen. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Oh. Now, I wanted to comment on David Letterman this week. Do you know, David Letterman, I think, handled that situation as well as anyone can handle it. You know, I found when there's a problem, you might as well face it head on. I think Letterman has been in the public eye long enough to know that this is where the shit is hitting the fan. And the best thing for him to do is get out in front of it and try to stop it as much as he can. I just am amazed that there are people that are concerned that uh, Letterman is endangering his career, his job, and everything by revealing these things. Well, you know, it shouldn't affect Letterman at all, because I don't care how they try to spin this thing for the CBS producer, highly paid as he was, for making an extortion attempt. You see, extortion is illegal. The fact that he took the money and he cashed the check, that's committing the crime of extortion. And I'm really not sure why any of the dirt that may be dug up on David Letterman should be an issue. Because the issue is this guy committed extortion. And that's a real crime, a serious crime. And that crime should be dealt with. And I don't know why all of the miscellaneous dirt that this creep had dug up on Letterman should be an issue. Letterman certainly has a lot of problems, and I like Letterman. I don't know him. Good grief, another person I haven't interviewed. My reputation is in shambles. Maybe I can fix it if I go buy that jaw horse thing. Yeah, I can do it. And where did I put that credit card? I, I need it now to buy... Buy that 